why should you even consider doing a virtual event what is the need to do a virtual event or what are the benefits so if you are if you are an organizer of course you want to stay in touch with your clients you want to uh, keep your events live then if you're a corporate identity uh, you would want some kind of employee engagement you would want people to get together it could be a vendor meet it could be some other requirements so requirements are there we know that and especially when you are an organizer the events that you do are your livelihood so let us understand are there any benefits of going virtual something additional that we get why should we even consider doing that right so apart from you know staying in touch and generating a livelihood for our team members and for ourselves how virtual events help us they take our events global uh after working with so many organizers personally we've realized that <clears throat> virtual events have an amazingly global reach so once you, once your virtual event is live you can reach out to different geographical areas without any barriers of uh, being present in a city or in a country so you can just think big you can go extend your boundaries go you could just go on and discover new markets you could test your products you could test your meetings and exhibitions uh in completely new areas and see and test the consumer response so virtual events actually increase your footfall by 3x by 5x sometimes even 10x depending upon your event and we've actually seen that happening safety of course safety is one of the main concerns that we have so especially during the pandemic we all want to be safe so attending a virtual event for all the attendees and participants is the safest bet we wouldn't like to travel and even i would say after things start opening up most of us would be a little hesitant going to public gatherings because of the impending danger of getting infected so virtual events keep us safe so we can attend these from the comfort of our home and our office convenience is another thing now <clears throat> i can just attend a virtual event practically sitting in my sitting in my bed yes i can do that just have my mobile phone with me and just i can just go on experiencing it the kind of convenience and comfort that a virtual event gives me um is not possible in the physical event and actually people are getting used to that comfort it is very very cost effective for the organizer so of course traditional events uh, in person events need a lot and a lot of investment so you can actually uh, you know spend more on your marketing and uh, achieve your targets or over achieve your targets it is very time saving so we've had uh, organizers who who told us that they have been trying to uh, rope in some speakers who couldn't make it to their event for so many years they have been trying to do that of because of time and travel constraints but as soon as the event is gone virtual people want to join them speakers want to join them because they don't have to spend days traveling uh, to the event's location so it is time saving not just for the speakers not just for the organizers but also for the attendees so you don't have to really travel to a, another physical location and you can save that time in increasing the number of interactions that you can have and last but not the least it has a great impact when it comes to carbon footprints so we're reducing all that the physical preparations that we do to put up an event uh that lose that that leaves a lot of carbon footprints behind which can be contained and reduced with virtual events